good family. They took uh, great lengths to hide the money. A Fox News alert. Secretary of State Antony Blinken coming face to face with Chinese President Xi Jinping on the second day of his trip to Beijing. Yeah, that's right. The meeting comes after Blinken met with a Chinese foreign minister who told Washington to choose between cooperation or conflict, saying, quote, relations have experienced ups and downs and it is necessary for us to reflect deeply and work with China to jointly manage differences and avoid strategic surprises. Gordon Chang is senior fellow at the Gatestone Institute and joins us now. Gordon, good morning to you. The big news of the morning is Antony Blinken's meeting with Xi Jinping happening right now. This meeting was announced about two and a half hours ago. So what does this mean for our future relations with China? Well, it means that the Chinese don't want to um, especially humiliate the United States. So they did grant the meeting with Xi Jinping. But we did receive a number of slights from the Chinese and we did not acknowledge them. And, you know, Henry Kissinger just a, f uh, a few hours ago once again said that war with China is probable. Um, and I think that President Biden's efforts to try to prevent it are actually accelerating it because we are not telling the Chinese in public what they need to hear and what the world needs to hear. And that is that the United States will defend itself, its friends and allies. Instead, we talk about the need to maintain communication when the Chinese are talking about war. We have Communist Party figures inside of China talking about war and how the deaths of hundreds of millions of people is acceptable. Well, conversation like that is unacceptable. We're getting bits and pieces of this meeting because, as Carly mentioned, it's happening as we speak. And one thing that just came out, Jinping saying that he hoped U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken would make more positive contributions to stabilizing China-U.S. ties through his visit to Beijing. That, according to a video posted by state media, CCTV, of course. Um, what's your take on the fact that, I think you alluded to it in your first answer, that this meeting with Xi, at least to us, seems to have come together last minute, almost to your point, like a concession at the end of uh, Blinken's meeting with the foreign minister, which lasted seven and a half hours. Yes. Well, really what they did was they made Secretary Blinken sweat um, and they announced the meeting at the very uh, last moment. Uh, and so really what this is sort of a Chinese tactic. Um, it, it means that uh, Beijing means to humiliate the United States. You know, we see this around the world because Chinese propaganda is basically saying the United States is no longer a global force. And really, the attempt to make the United States look small in Beijing is a part of that. And we're going to hear much more of that propaganda line in the months ahead. The United States needs to counter that because that propaganda line is actually effective in large parts of the world, like the Middle East and Africa, which are where we see the main points of contention outside of Ukraine. And so the United States needs to take a very different approach. And if we don't, um, the Chinese will get even more arrogant. What we have been doing, Todd and Carly, we've been inflating their already big sense of self-importance, and that's not a good thing. One of the things Blinken teams, uh, Blinken's team said that he wants to focus on is trying to get China to stop producing fentanyl. What are the chances that he'll see any success on that front? He may see some temporary success, like the Trump administration did, but nothing long term. The Communist Party runs a near total surveillance state which means that it's behind the fentanyl gangs. And, and Chinese diplomats actually support the fentanyl gangs, which then launder their money through the Chinese state banking system. We need to be able to say that in public. If we do, then perhaps we have the makings of a solution. But until we actually um, will be willing to acknowledge who is behind these fentanyl gangs and that the Communist Party supports them, we have no chance of having any endearing solution. You know, whenever we talk about major summits like this, we always look for deliverables. Well, according to the underlying meeting between the foreign minister and Blinken, here's what the White House is saying through the Washington Post. After more than seven and a half hours of talks between Blinken and Chinese Foreign Minister Kin Gang, the two sides agreed to schedule a visit to Washington by Kin and to maintain high-level exchanges, a modest sign of progress after months of a diplomatic freeze. Are you as optimistic with the results of this meeting as Blinken, the Washington Post, and the Washington establishment seem to be? Or do you think at the end of the day, Tony Blinken got played? 
Well, there were no deliverables here. And really what we're talking about when we talk about Qin Gong coming to Washington is we're talking about talking. And while we talk about talking, we delay imposing those measures that are important such as the long-expected executive order prohibiting investment into China's military companies in the technology sector. Those are things that we absolutely need to do.